if we replace the modern discussion, the current discussion of alignment of artificial intelligence with the theory of ethics and artificial intelligence, we can actually break it down in the different component parts. And you know, the old theory is still valuable. So in school of ethics, we have different schools of thoughts. And they actually line up, the three dominant one, line up perfectly with these three building blocks that we have for the machine learning paradigm. One example is virtue ethics, the other one, deontology, and consequentialism, utilitarianism. So what do they stand for? Virtue ethics basically talks about being ethical. So you, you either are ethical or you're not. So you are a good person or, or you're not. Basically, that's, that's what it comes down to. Deontology says like, no, no, it's not like who you are. It's what your intention is. Immanuel Kant's categorical imperative, which says that you should always treat others like you want to be treated. That, for example, is an intention. So you have good intentions. But as we know, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, right? That's why consequentialism says, well, it's not who you are or what your intentions are. It doesn't matter. It's just like how things turn out. So what's the consequence? Is there is there unintended, might be unintended negative side sequences. It still makes it unethical, even if you had the, be the best intention. So that is to do like, despite what there is and where you want to go, if the outcome of the algorithm does harm, that would be consequentialism. For now, I just wanted to say, the good old theory of ethics and artificial intelligence really go hand in hand together. We have to be we have to be working on all three of these aspects. One is being ethical. We have to really look at the data and see what's out there. Second, we have to really double check the intention, not double check, triple check. And many of us have to check it and we will continue with that in the next one. And at the end, there will always be risks, inevitably risks linked to the utility that we strive for. And this is an ongoing challenge to monitor it, such as with any other technology that we have ever deployed.